We're going. I'm not happy. I'm not happy with his rain, that's for sure. No, not at all. Don't worry about it. Hey, hey. Can you do it? Oh, right now? Okay. Uh, hold that bit while you pull the zip up. Yeah, okay. You got it. Okay. All right, Swan. Love you. <laughs> Bye, safe. I'll see you. I'll call you. Yeah, call me when you get there. Hey. Off they go. What's going on? Uh oh. Well, it stopped raining. And uh, I've pulled up somewhere, but uh, oh, yeah, there's a few uh, tradies arriving actually because there's a big construction site over there. But <laughs> we've converted the car into stealth camp mode. But I pulled up here. It's nice that the rain stopped, but I can see there's a bit of tree movement out there. So it doesn't look like the wind stopped, unfortunately. But maybe we should get out and have a look. Mm -hmm. Alright. This one's got a bit of a big lure on it, but you never know, it could be fun. Take it just for the walk, just in case something exciting happens. The reason I sort of stopped here was because it has a pretty good outlook of the uh, city. <laughs> good morning, Magpie. Ooh, it's a bit chilly and a bit windy. But look at that. It's the whole cityscape, pretty much of Sydney Harbour right there. <laughs> Maybe we'll get the phone out and get a better shot of that. Yeah, not a bad view to start the morning. I was really hoping, so the weather report said it was going to stop raining through the night, which it definitely has, but it definitely is windy. <laughs> Pretty cool to see the harbour. <laughs> see, there's the Opera House there, there's the Sydney Harbour Bridge. I wanted to paddle out with the paddleboard out to this island here, which is Shark Island. But, oh, there's Centre Point Tower there. <laughs> All the sights. Here we go. Whew. Yeah, definitely, yeah. Uh, <laughs> a little more brisk. It's been so up and down. Well, here we are. <laughs> little mini beach. It's nice, but it is windy. The big question is, is that water murky? Because I do have my new wetsuit now, so I'm a bit more confident getting in the cold. But, but let's have a walk around. Since as we're here, we might as well not just waste the, the trip down. I'm really looking forward to actually walking around this little <laughs> this little point and just seeing what goes on these days since I haven't been here for actually quite a long time. What are you doing birds? We'll go around to the next bay and then maybe we'll have a cast of this lure as well. It's a cool fig tree in there. It's a good one. There's <laughs> not many of these. There's not a tree on this path that I wouldn't have hidden from my mates behind <laughs> in like all this section here. They made this quite a while ago now, but when I was young, this whole wooden path wasn't here. That's for sure. It's just all sort of dirt and sandstone in a rough sort of dirt track. This fence, well, it's obviously been here for a while, but this definitely wasn't here. And you climb over this ledge here, and just back here, that was probably one of the biggest... I don't know if you can see in there, but there was like a... There's sort of like a little bit of a cave there. 
and we had enclosed all that in, in and it was overgrown with lantana as well so we got we just collect all the wood and flopson and jetson from all of these areas all up and down this coast and we'd um and we'd get anything big and any any kind of big bits of wood and we would basically made a whole fort on top of that cave so you could go in there and just hang we worked on that for probably two summers <laughs> And uh, it was pretty cool because it, you had to get into the bush a little bit to get into that cavey section. It was completely enclosed and yeah, now nah, we had a full setup. So we'd just get a, probably, I don't know, we must have been in our teens, maybe year eight or nine, maybe, I don't know, let's call it 14, around that kind of age. And we'd just get our parents to drop us down here because we live on the beach side right over there. And we'd all come down and we'd literally just get dropped off in the morning with like a pack lunch and fishing rods or spear gear. And we'd just basically stay here all day until sunset. <laughs> wow, it's cool to see it again. So you'd come out on this wharf, but what it would actually do is it actually had a second bit. At the end of this wharf, this had a second bit that came across and joined up with that side. So you could walk out and do the full U around. Do not leave fishing trash area, that's fair enough. That's good advice anyone that comes down but yeah many many jumps off this <laughs> of this wharf that's for sure there's no reason why there couldn't be a flathead I've definitely seen I've been sitting on this point at high tide and you'd see a school of kingies come shooting through every now and then I'm probably not that hopeful of getting something right now <laughs> Never know, I guess. We'll do this for a sec. And if I can work up some enthusiasm, maybe, just maybe, I might get in the water and catch myself some breakfast. There we go. We're going with the wind now. We get more of a run. I'd love a tailor or a bonito to come past. <laughs> That no, doesn't look like it's going to happen. I wish I was on that side where the sun was right now. But that's to get over there. To get over there, you need to drive all the way back around and all the way over the bridge and all the way over to there. <laughs> it's the long drive. I'm talking about an hour, maybe more. Maybe we could drive a, drive a bay or two around and see if we can get in somewhere else. A leather jacket. We never get leather jacket up home. We, we, there are around, but you don't get many of them. I'd be very happy with a couple of leather jackets. Just one good leather jacket. Old fan belly. We might have to do it because I don't think we're going to have much luck doing a lot of other things at the moment. Uh, okay, let's do it. Alright, we're making the call. Just went and sort of had a walk down there and, and you could see sort of that edge up on this side. So the wind's coming from straight over there, so it's got a lot more protection. Whether the water looks clearer here, but I'm hoping as we get further down it clears up. So we'll get the gear on and we'll make the swim out. See if we can get some breakfast. Wetsuit, definite wetsuit. <laughs> That's what we need. And we'll get in. Quite looking forward to it though. This is uh, also another spot that I've dived extensively, so... And I've not started back here and gone through all the wharves for a long time, so it'll be fun to go all the way through all the wharves, see some fancy houses and see if we can catch something. Oh, looks pretty nice. Bit of sun. I like the idea of there being sun. And, uh, yeah. Looks like quite protected on this little edge. We're not going for champion or hero species, we're just going, I'll be happy with a big brim or a flatty or a couple of leather jacket. Well, I don't need a couple. A leather jacket? Oh, this looks good. This looks real good. Well, better than good compared to what I was looking at before, anyway. Oh, a little chilly, but just got to get in, eh?
with. Just almost too high though. Still a bit of water coming out. <laughs> oh, should be alright. Got the towel now, I have to dry them out somewhere. How good wet suit. I was getting cold towards the end there, and I was cold when I got it out, but all the lead up to it was actually really comfortable, so it was pretty cool. I might need that though. And everything else is pretty dry. Take you. Definitely take you. That'll do. Fishy. Let's go. Just gonna get down here without falling. 
Amazing. Oh, this is definitely the spot, I'd say. Very good. Cooker. It might be better over here on this flatter part. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> looks like a bag of rubbish. That was just all the rubbish I was collecting on the way. But we'll get our fish out, who's down in the bottom. It's not a bad brim, you know. Like, that's actually a pretty big silver brim. We just got him, it was straight through there. He, when I got him, he didn't even realize he'd been speared. He just sort of sat there wondering what it got, was going on because the spear went straight through and all the way through until it was just the uh, the mono or the line. But that, that's not a bad brim at all by anyone's standard really, is it? And then I think what we'll do is we'll cook this guy whole. It's gonna be the easiest way to do it. And, uh, and brim, look, this guy is big enough to fill it and do things like that, but I think what I'll do is I'll still cook him whole because I've got the big pan and the proper setup, so it should be fun to get a whole fried fish, and that way we can pick him clean as well and not waste anything. Where can we do this? Right here, I guess. Scale first. That's a bit better. Big brim. <laughs> what a beautiful fish. I'll tell you what, today's turned out to be a cracker, but it's just in this little pocket. Look, if you look out there, it's too pretty windy still, and the forecast is. Uh, not going to get any better, but this little pocket is heaven. What are you doing? He thinks he's going to get some. He might get some guts, actually. Yeah, but that was a really nice spear. You can see, basically, I worked this area, and I, I had a really good time. Like, it's been a, such a long time since I've just been doing, like, just shallows under the wharves, and just sort of, like, originally I was hoping to get maybe a, like, a, a leather jacket or something like that, but then... Uh, and there was some, but then this guy came along and yeah, hadn't speared, speared a brim and I've like, oh, years really, like many years, like maybe over 10 plus years actually. <laughs> so, saw him, it's too good an opportunity to pass up. I don't often shoot brim, especially like when they get to this size, brim are actually quite a slow growing fish, so he'll be quite old. He could be like 20 years plus old, really. So, I tend not to spear him and, um, and then when they're a bit smaller, you know, they're, you know, this sort of the meat is a bit slim picking. So, yeah, but this is a good opportunity and I don't often do it. So, yeah, it was really nice. And I had a, I had a ball just working the wharves, just staying in the shallows. And I like start in the shallow bit and just work my way out against the wharf. And then you sort of sneak up on the fish. It was a really fun stalking different things. Heaps of blackfish around. Saw quite a few leather jacket, but, um, they were all sort of not that big fan belly one that I was after. So by the time I got this guy, most of the smaller leather, leather jacket got let go basically. There's, oh, I went under a little ledge and I saw some little cuttlefish. You saw all the cuttlefish. They would have been good if I had the hand spear. I probably would have nabbed those two and uh, just called it a day on those. But in the end, we got the brim and uh, yeah, we're very, very happy. That's a beautiful fish. So we'll dry it up a bit before you get it in the hot oil. 
and hopefully these guys get the message to get lost now now that they've all come over to get the guts <laughs> but it's good that they get the guts whether it's them or someone like a crab or someone else or a fish in the ocean at least nothing's going to waste it's all going back to sort of the cycle of life maybe put some coriander and i've actually got a bit of a uh what have we got we got a lime so we don't need to cut up much this is going to be super simple but super delicious meal so i'm getting here these are just those like chilies in garlic and oil so super spicy but super delicious and they've got that crunch it's like that chili crunch mmm geez they're good <laughs> spicy so we'll just put that on top once we've got it all cooked up look at all these seagulls shouldn't have thrown the guts to them should I on we are hard to see but we are on yeah we want a decent amount and I think I grabbed a paper towel or two so we'll just get one of the paper towels drying down as much as possible rubbish bag then I'm just going to put some big cuts straight in both sides mm -hmm. then we'll just salt and pepper him And that's pretty much all there is to it. Oh yeah, that's ready to go. So, we've just got to get it into the pan somehow without uh, <laughs> we just slide it down to the front. We'll go tail first, huh? We'll give the tail a little bit of a go. It's actually too big for the pan. Maybe I should take the head off. That way it'll cook better. As much as I don't really want to, might just work a little bit easier. Apart from the chip meat, you won't be missing out on too much. Okay. There we go. So head's going in, unfortunately. Sorry, mate. Go for the octopuses. There's no way you're going to be able to pick that up, mate. Don't come back. <laughs> oh, oh, wow. Yum. Not the girl up. Yeah, have one. Should have 
better scoot a smaller brim. <laughs> Where are we looking? Oh, it looks good. Might flip it back the other way. Oh, oh wow. Turn that off. Oh. Okay, we'll come across this side. And a bit of coriander. Chili, chili crunch. Oh, that chili oil, that is going to be amazing. One more. And that is one hell of a breakfast. Can even put a little slice of lime on the side if we feel like it. I think we might. As we get going. And that is a serious, seriously good looking breakfast right there. Oh my god. Fresh caught brim, chili crunch on top. Let's sit down and enjoy some, huh? A little bit of lime. Well, let's get into it. Ooh. Well, it's all coming off in one big bit. So we'll just break into it on the side here. So just for the lack of a uh, bit of the chili crunch on there, bit of coriander. Oh baby, that is, that is a serious mouthful right there. Mmm, delicious, real delicious. You know, like, well, brim is actually actually a very good eating fish. People shun it because, you know, a lot of the time they're small and they can be finicky. If you fry them whole like that, though, it's absolutely no problem whatsoever. And this, well, this guy's a big guy. This guy's got plenty of meat. But geez, I'll tell you what, I'm hungry. I didn't eat last night. So I'm ready to go. If I can get it. Mm. How good is chili crunch? It makes just about anything taste good, doesn't it? The garlicky chili. Mm, scrape down the ribs. Oh, we'll get we'll go up high. Get some of that skin. If I could do it with two hands, it'd be easier. Maybe yeah, we can get some skin down the bottom. Ah, oh, still good. That is still good. <laughs> Mmm, brim's delicious mate, beautiful white flesh, definitely nothing to be sneered at. I'll get some, try and get some of that skin as well. Oh, that top bit seems crunchy. A little bit of crunch on the top of that skin. If we could get that oil hotter and the pan was bigger, like in a big wok, we probably would have had more success at keeping some crunch in the skin. But yeah, no, delicious though. Here we go. Oh, the wing sort of broke. I can still get it though. I'll get this bit of it. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Oh, it's all so good. Ah, ouch. Something just reached up and bit me. What the hell was that? What was that? Something just reached up. It's either a big crab or a... I was just washing my hand there for two seconds. Who was that? What the hell? It was big. Like something just reached up and grabbed me and like bit my hand in the rocks. <laughs> Who was that? My God. Cheeky... Oh, there he is. 
Look, it's a bloody eel. Oh my God, a big moray eel. Ah, oh, you cheeky bugger. You don't want to get bitten by them too bad either. It gets infected. I'll give it a good wash out. <laughs> I wonder if we can get him to come out here. What we'll do is we'll grab a bit of, we'll grab this bone here. See if we can lure him out. Look, there he is. Come on, mate. It's right here for you, including my hand. <laughs> Bloody cheeky bugger. There, he's right under us now. Come on, mate. Come grab it. There he is. I don't know if you can see him. He's thinking about coming up. No, no, he's being a bit skittish now. Yeah, we'll drop it in. We'll see if he can. Oh, he's grabbed it, but he's taking it under. Anyway. Ah. <laughs> well, yeah. I wasn't exactly expecting that. But the guy uh, literally just stuck my hand in there to wash. I may have to, I think I threw a couple of the fins in there when I was eating. And uh, there must have been the moray must have seen my put my hand in. He's come and grab me. <laughs> yeah. I was just about to wrap it up and say, well, I'll see you on the next video. I'm still working my way through the fish here. We're on to the second half. We've got to work through all of this and eat that. But yeah. Oh, well, that's a bit of a turn of events. Look, I'm really bleeding from it as well. Anyway. Uh, I'll see you on the next one um, and yeah this is not the end we're going to do a bit uh, another trip um, a bit further up the coast I've got a sort of spot peak where I saw some very uh, lots of flatties maybe the odd big flatty lie as well so we'll give that a crack on the way home but uh, yeah nah I'll see you on the next one hopefully with less uh, less biteies yeah <laughs> see ya <laughs>